This is a special show, it's a pre-recorded one, but don't let that put you off. Uh, welcome to all my regular listeners, the regular Sleeping Tunes crew, and to anybody new. It's uh, an absolute pleasure to play for you. I hope you're going to enjoy it. I'll be somewhere, somewhere there in the comments uh, to answer any questions and stuff. Just going to play a few more guitar-based tunes tonight for you. Um, and I hope you're having a great weekend so far. Here's a little bit of uh, Ain't Misbehaving into a wonderful tune called The Battering Ram, which is a jig I learned from uh, a wonderful, wonderful friend and a wonderful whistle player, Vinnie Kilduff. <laughs> Thank you. 
little ditty to get us going. Uh, I hope um, you're all having uh, a wonderful uh, Saturday night so far. Um, yeah, I, this is a, a special one because it's, I haven't done a pre-recorded one for quite a while. So I'm just getting warmed up, as you can probably hear there. And um, I thought I'd do some more guitar-based tunes for you tonight. And I'm going to play uh, a couple of them now. Um, this is uh, a tune written by the late, great Liam O'Flynn. Um, I just love this tune. It's, it's, uh, it's called Androhad, The Bridge. This was on uh, an album he did called The Piper's Call. And it was, it was a beautiful album. It, in fact, uh, Mark Knopfler played lead guitar on this um, with the, the Piper's Call band. So here's a little version of that for you.
by the late great Liam O'Flynn. What a beautiful tune. Um, but this is a beautiful Scottish tune called Annie Laurie. Of course, by Burns.
sorry about the little lead lead uh, business before. Hopefully that it's it's gone away for a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, he says, um, famous last word. Let's play a little bit of a uh, slow air for Mary in Cork. This is called the Dying Rebel. It's a beautiful. Uh, it's, it's actually a 1916 sort of song. I, again, I learned from the Begleys, but I, I, it's a beautiful air. And my, my nan and granddad, uh, my nan was from Cork City, and she used to, uh, she used to, to know this air as well. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
to Josephine's Waltz. Um, <coughs> two uh, beautiful old tunes, or beautiful tunes. One old tune and one not so old. Uh, I hope you're all well. Uh, and um, thanks to everybody who supports this show. It's um, an absolute honor to do it for you. now um this is kind of more chilled out show tonight um uh, i'm gonna do a little um request which was um margaret swaltz um, uh, and i play this kind of in a jazzier style it's a kind of um Orkney, I suppose, or oh, sorry, Shetland, Shetland and Orkney sort of um, tune. It was actually written by, a, I believe, a fiddle player um, who, from England, I think. Please forgive me if I'm wrong on that. I'll have to, I'll have to Wikipedia after. But here we go. So a bit of Margaret Swartz. <laughs> Lovely tunes for you. Uh, we're going to play a, a, a few tunes on this beautiful um, guitar, which is called a Tim Eady Model One, no less. Uh, these are guitars that I imported over uh, to my specification uh, from from Asia, and uh, the aim was to sell them uh, at a really affordable price. You know, because you're paying sort of 
anything upwards of you know 900 to 1200 for the kind of guitar um, that, uh, that I would I would normally sort of play you know the Yamahas and the Tec Tecuminis which are beautiful of course uh, but um, so uh, they, they all sold uh, were some very happy customers uh, Kathleen Peachy if you're watching uh, and um, the other Kathleen and uh, Keith Cronshaw they've all got a model one uh, I've only actually got one left. Um, if you're interested, give me a shout. I might order some more in. Um, they're lovely guitars, um, but this is not a sales a sales thing. I'm going to start with a tune I learned from the from the mighty uh, Chieftains again, um, and um, I just uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a bit of fun. Um, it starts with a bit of a loop, and we go from there. So one, hey, yo. I do love um, those um, those fast reels. Um, and um, while I've got the box, um, I'll give you a little, uh, let's see, give you a little, um, goodness, we get my breath after that. Give you, what should we have? Uh, um, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, there's a great set of slides. Um, I, these are, I'm being a bit naughty. These are um, a slides that are uh, a, a sort of uh, out of the oven, so to speak. Um, these are a wonderful set from uh, a series called uh, River of Sound. You can guess who I learnt them from.
some good fun. Uh, ooh, um, let's see. Really, um, gonna slow things down now um, and just play uh, a really beautiful. Um, oops, really beautiful slow, slow selection. So close your eyes and join me on a, a little journey. Um, not sure what we're going to do on this one. Just going to go with the go with the flow, as they say. Um. Um, to the uh, to the steel string, uh, and um, and play you a, play a little. Um, I think I might might risk a song. Let's see. <laughs> actually uh, that I learned from a really 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 good buddy of mine an amazing singer um, an amazing man an amazing Bauram player uh, well, I learned it from two guys in fact an amazing the man of the man there mentioned Mr. Gino Lapari um, <coughs> and also of course Mick Daly amazing singer 
and guitarist and banjo player from Cork. Gino, of course, being from the north of Ireland, uh, and Mick um, Daly from Cork, and they were both, in, of course, forming the dog. They're still going, of course. Gino is still is still steering the ship. It's it's wonderful. So let's give it a go. Has a very famous um, guitar riff in this which I guess uh, would be either Mick or Artie McGlynn, the late, great Artie McGlynn, or maybe both of them, I don't know. Anyway, let's give, let's give it a go. Join in the chorus if you, if you know it.
Actually, from um, <coughs> um, if I remember rightly, um, from Jackie Daly, um, and as as always, um, it's very hard um, for me to remember all the names. Um, which, um, yeah, I I'm afraid I'm terrible with names. I really am. Uh, <laughs> time so it's um it's it's lovely to play it um let's there we go again <laughs> you couldn't make this up um uh you know it's quite funny um uh when we do eventually um go back to live playing which um we well i will do next week in fact in fact just wanted to let you know um the next couple of shows, this one and the one after, um, uh, have, have no option but to pre-record them. Uh, as you as you can tell from my flying, falling over microphone stand, I'll just show you that here. I've got my microphone stand here with my set list on my iPad and it just, it keeps on falling over and it's it's not a cheap stand, I can assure you. Um, it is funny, um, well, it's not really funny. <laughs> it's funny the first time, but when it happens three times, it's, um, it's annoying, um, but, um, 
let's um, let's play a bit more box for the box lovers out there. Um, uh, try not to get as bowed. Of course, the beauty of pre-record is that I, I I'm uh, I can time when I when I when I record these. So at the moment, I think we're safe to play box. I didn't think we were before, but I think just now we we are. So let's make the most of that. Be a couple of box tunes um, for the the box lovers. This is a classic uh, tune by the wonderful and amazing and genial Martin O'Connor. It's called Liquid Sunshine, which we all need a bit of at the moment. But what I was saying was about about playing um, live again. So. Um, um, <coughs> but me, it's 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 going to be really weird. Um, I'm I'm actually um, playing a live gig, two live gigs. <coughs> I do apologise. Um, I see I'm constantly suffering from hay fever. Don't worry, it's not COVID. I've been tested a few days ago. Uh, but um, um, yeah, um, I'm playing at the wonderful Beardy Folk Festival next Friday um, next week. I think they're nearly sold out now for that. It's down in Shropshire in a beautiful place. And the day after, I'm playing with Michael McGoldrick and Emma Sweeney in the Met in Bury. We're playing two shows and they're, they're obviously socially distanced shows. So we're playing to quite a, you know, to half the normal audience or a quarter of the normal audience, something like that. And it's quite nerve wracking. And because and, uh, I've been, you know, I've been playing here in this exact spot for over a year now. <laughs> Um, and, and you get quite used to it. Um, but fear not, I'm not going to stop the Saturday shows. Um, but throughout the summer, uh, I'm going to keep it going. I, I mean, I, as long as you guys enjoy it, um, I'm going to be here doing it. Uh, it's, it's a tremendous honour for me to do it. And you've been incredibly supportive. Please do support the show by sharing it. Uh, I know lots of you put money in the milkshake jar, which is so much appreciated. It, it pays for all the internet subscriptions <laughs> and microphone stands. Uh, and it's incredibly appreciated. Even if you can just afford, um, you know, a, a, a cup of coffee, um, it, for two pound fifty, it, it all it all helps. And it's you know, but the main thing is you enjoy it. It's it's it, it's um it's it's about your enjoyment. Uh, but thank you for supporting it. All my music, of course, is on my website, www.timidi.com. Uh, and uh, and yeah, it's just yeah. So so I'm going to pre-record the next the next weeks as well. I kind of have to because we're you know we're actually playing live. Uh, and Rosie and Bob, my great friends who are from Kent originally but live now in the west coast of Scotland, in Ardmore, and are going to the gig. <laughs> so this is really exciting. We shall have to have our masks on, of course. So here, anyway, here's Liquid Sunshine.
that's liquid sunshine by the the genial martin o'connor um <coughs> but well chris brown in um in cornwall um always uh loves um hearing sorry one of my tunes just grab this guitar one of my tunes called um uh the Recolver Polka. Uh, and so, Chris, I'm gonna try and play it for you now. Um, I give it a give it a shot. Um, I wrote this actually. Goodness, uh, must be 23 years ago when I was 17 for a project called Kelts in Kent. I was commissioned by Kent County Council by a man called John Rice, who's um, originally from Scotland, but did so much for the, the art scene in, in, in Kent and the southeast of England. He brought, he brought down so many bands that I, I saw for the first time, like Anam, Brina Hara, and, uh, and, and the gang, and. Um, yeah, thank you, John Rice. So I'll play this for for um, for, for Chris down in Cornwall. I hope you like it. It's called the Recova Polka. folks it's been uh, lovely playing for you I'm gonna play two more and then leave you in peace um, for tonight I hope you've enjoyed the show uh, gonna play two two other requests uh, the first one is a, a really beautiful um, piece of music that uh, was written in the 1930s in Paris in France and it's it's about it's just about Ireland a ballad about Ireland, 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 Ireland. Please forgive me that I can't remember the composer, uh, but I learnt this from my great friend Peter Gazy, who's a lovely guitarist, acoustic guitar player, and he in turn learnt it from a, a record called, um, called, I forget the name of the record, but it was by Birelli Legren and Sylvain Luc, who are two amazing French jazz guitar players. So here we go.
I'll, uh, I'll finish off with uh, with this song written by the fantastic Ender McCabe. Um, and I'll sing this for everybody who's watched, watches the show, you know, watches and listens. It's a pleasure to do this. I uh, hope you've enjoyed tonight. Uh, apologies that it's not completely live like usual, but I hope you still enjoyed it. Um, this is a song that has become a sort of anthem, I suppose, for my for my uh, for myself. Uh, it was written for my for my father, uh, Richard. It's a true story and uh, about a boat that he built called Endeavour of Hearty, which is now uh, finished, uh, finished a long time now. But um, the song is it's, it's beautiful. It's it's a yeah, it's Ender Ender McCabe is an amazing songwriter. Please check him out on Wednesday nights. He does a show. So, winter ties permitting. Join in the chorus. I'm gonna sing this just acoustic. This little boat protects me well, it carries me on the ocean swell. And another day I'll be close to you. The winds and tides permitting. Oh, the winds and tides permitting. Winds and tides permitting, I'll be with you when I can. The winds and tides permitting, one more time the chorus. The winds and tides permitting, the winds and tides permitting, I'll be with you when I can. This is one of my old favourites. Uh, you can guess who I love this from. Uh, it's just a great tune. It's called Maggie in the Wood.
Warren Tang. Wherever you are in the world, have a brilliant rest of your night and your weekend. And I shall see you again for another specially pre-recorded show next Saturday. Um, remember, any of my music is all on my website, timedy.com. Uh, and I am doing some live gigs this year, including the Beardy Folk Festival, the Berry Met next week, and further on in end of July, I'm doing the Costa del Folk As You Like It Festival, which is a wonderful festival. Uh, so um, take care. And uh, at, oh, and then I'm doing Wickham and Sidmouth and Broadstairs. Um, hopefully, please God, if uh, if the COVID variant allows us to, I shouldn't tempt fate, but uh, goodness me. Anyway, have a great weekend from myself, Timmy D. <laughs>